Prezi is a one-step graphic design data visualization tool. Prezi is not a presentation. It is a starting of a new conversation. Static presentation, moving first slide to last in an order is a old way of presentation. With the Prezi, you can move freely between topics. You can create interactive, engaging reports, infographics, social media posts, and many more. By the way, I am Kalyan Kumar, Faculty, Institute of Public Enterprise, Hyderabad. Today, I am going to introduce the Prezi. With the Prezi, you can create innovative kind of presentations. You can interact with your students at the time of your presentations. Prezi is the coming with the template design, designed with templates with the inbuilt text in various categories. The only thing is you have to select your interested category and template design. You can make use of some filters. So you can select your own interested template. And the only thing is you have to change. If you have the content, just remove the old excess contents with your new contents. That's it. The template design is done. And if you want to insert a new video or audio, any media files, easily we can do that. If you know the knowledge how to operate the PowerPoint presentation, that is more than enough to use the Prezi presentations. And one more special thing is the Prezi presentation you can share with your students through Google Classroom as well as you can get the link. You can share the link through WhatsApp, otherwise some other Telegram, other media, mail, emails. They also can visit your presentations. The live presentation, live casting also you can do that. So such a versatile software the Prezi is. I hope definitely you will love this Prezi presentation. Today I am going to introduce Prezi.com. Come on, let us move to the Prezi.com. I am trying with the Google Chrome first, then I will show you how the Microsoft Edge will be. So first you have to type Prezi.com in the browse bar and click enter. So we are getting into Prezi.com. This is the console of Prezi.com. In this left side panel and right side the panel panel is there. On the left side panel we can notice the videos, designs, presentations, library and new folder here. So if we are coming to this the main panel you can see the create new. This create new is the videos. If you are clicking designs the contents the icons will be changing. If you are coming to presentation again the corresponding icons will be placed. Now the presentation and if you are coming down these are the completed work of mine as a world works you can select and you can present or you can edit like that if you are going to designs if you have any old existed designs you can see and you can make use of that or you can create by selecting any one of the appropriate if you want to start from the scratch by selecting the template you can click the first one then if you want to select any infographic of course the infographics also is there in the the first slide and this one is a social media post and this one another option so all these three options are available from this one you see just i'm clicking this the left side panel is showing categories so these are the category these are the templates and these are the categories you can select any one of the template according to your interested or relevant to your topic now these templates are infographic all templates are in the same page you can browse down automatically this also will be changing if you are clicking reports these are the reports now see the browsing coming down if you are coming to slides this is coming down that means all templates are available in the single screen so dashboards you can create charts you can create 40 50 uh, designs are there in the the maps the charts the maps also around so many maps also available the posters and the social media post and the email headers youtube thumbnails so these are different varieties of templates available for your purpose so this is what here it is showing infographic so only three only shown but if you are clicking this you can select according to your wish like that if you are going to presentation the presentation also giving the templates and of course this also subset of this one you click this these are the templates under presentations here also you can see the categories these are the general categories sales and business development categories marketing categories and so on you can select or if you are very specific about the colors you can filter by colors you can get the green color the green theme 
templates only will be displayed. If you are giving black, the black color, like that you can make use of the filters and you can select according to your relevant topic of the templates. Okay. Now I am coming back to the main screen. Like that, if you are clicking the videos, the video templates also can be taken. The existed work also will be displayed here. You can make use of that. If you want to start from scratch, you click this. The video templates will be available. You can select a non of the template. Okay, so video one side and the other uh, template that's the presentation content. What uh, the what contents we are showing that also will be displayed here. And these are the templates for the the video. Uh, for example, if you are selecting this this side, you can keep the temp. So here, if you are selecting this, only you your face will be displayed if you are selecting the middle icon or uh, the presentation path as well as the presenter also will be displayed here this one is just the presentation the content only will be displayed so uh, depends upon this you can select this and this is the browse button you can move from one slide to another side front and forth clear so these are the things the right side one reusable videos so these videos are shared by some other resource developers these are the contents oer contents open educational resources you can make use of these presentations if the presentation is relevant to your topic you can select that and make use otherwise you can change the contents and incorporate your thing or directly you can share this to your google classroom also so this is how the front console will be working right now I am coming to Microsoft Edge. This is Microsoft Edge. Here also Prezi.com. Same screen. You can log in. The same screen, same console. This is a Prezi screen. The videos, designs, and presentations and library, the folders. So these are the available things for your purpose. Also, you can make use of the videos. You can click on the videos. You can see already existed things. Some options is not working in the uh, Microsoft Edge. If you're coming to designs, it will be supporting. It's a new browser, more or less. It functions also closer to the Chrome, but some options are not working so this is how we can work with infographic these options are available and this is how we can work with the pressing here also we can see our presentations okay so now we are going to create a sample video creation in the left side panel you can notice the videos designs and presentations i am selecting the first one i am selecting the first one and coming to this panel from the list, I'm selecting the first one, create a new video. Just to click on this. I will show you how to prepare a video side by side. Your face also will be there and along that, you can show, you can present your presentations, PPT presentations, right? So, uh, these are the templates. From these templates, you can select any one of the templates. For example, if you want to take this template, this, will be the presentations. If you are moving from one slide to another slide, the slides will be coming like this, one by one. Or if you are taking the, this one, this template will be moving like this, okay? So which one you want to have, you can select the templates, that is up to you. And moreover here, one more tab is also is there, the reusable videos. Already some library, some uh, existed videos are there, done by various resource providers you can make use of these videos as part of your the video collection if you want to show these special videos in a relevant topic with your student students you can select and you can make use of this so this also comes under the oer open education resources kind of now we are going to template i already selected one this one and i want to put the content so I am showing one presentation. This is a presentation, the PPT. This can be shown like this. See, 
these are the four screens right so this ppt is a traditional presentation the same ppt if you are going to this file menu and the savers you can use you can use savers function mm, the location you can be select select as jpg all the slides each and every slide will be individually converted into jpg format and that will be stored in a special uh, in a separate file so like that the presentations also can be converted to jpg but at this moment that is not required just we will use later just i'm telling that point so these are the pptis right this ppt i want to show here and one more thing in this panel and this is the uh, the content and this is your picture if you want to talk to your students face to face you can hide this content or if you want to show the contents only you can select the third icon so that the contents only will be displayed on the screen or side by side side the ppt the presentation the content and uh, you also will be viewing to your uh, students okay like this you can make use and the second step is you see choose at the template choose template that is done the next one is add content for that you can select this next step we are coming to the next step here uh, so many images are there if you want to make use of an image you can just select and you can make use otherwise if you want to bring your own you see i am selecting this it is coming to that place if you don't want this you can see the remove image okay no, I want to select my own image. Then by the time you can click this, you can go to your local drive. You can select any one of the image. Okay. Right. So this is also possible. This is a JPG. So we can bring this. Otherwise, if you want to bring your picture, if you have any pictures, you can bring your picture. Okay. So that picture will be coming to this place. If you don't want this, remove image. Right. Now I want my PPT should be here. So the PPT is there. Uh, so here you can say add content. Add content. This is the first one. No, you can upload. You can upload. So these are the images. Select one. You just click. That image will be coming to this place. So next slide. We are. This is the first slide, and we are preparing second slide. Add frame. For that upload is required. Click on this upload. Select the second image, and say OK. Okay, so the second slide also here. Yeah. Now I am going for the third one. Upload image, go to the place, select the third one. If it is a 10 slide, 10 slides you have to bring it, right? Just I am showing that. Then the fourth one, again click add frame, go to the place and select the fourth one and say OK. Now all four slides are here. Okay, now I want to present it. I want to present it. How? The next step just next step now it is coming to this place now the one by one slides will be moving like this see we can move like this if you want to record this you can just click this record button it will be counting so you can be ready adjust the camera so that you also will be in that place now the recording is on see here you can see the camera is rolling right now you can demonstrate you can give the explanation or you can use like this also you can mention this so this is what is present presentation and if you can if you want to show this presentation slide you can select the third icon it will be cover the full image so the viewers can see that if you want to do the explanation um, in full view you can show your face in the full screen so this is how we can move the slide to slide if you are using the arrow key if you are using arrow key we can see the next slide right so this is how we can go front and back any place we can do that so this is uh, the jpg formats that is the images into this place so once we're done you can say done recording so the recordings will be the the given video lecture will be recorded now we can play this. adjust the camera so that you also will be that place and now the recording is on see, see here you can see the camera is rolling okay. right now we can so, demonstrate like, you can give the like you can do this in case if you want to save the video you can click this save video this video will be saved and you can share it you can share this video as a material for your google classroom also that i will show you later okay so if you want to trim anything you can click this you can trim front and back any uh, unwanted 
scenes. Okay. Now I am going back. I will be bringing. I am leaving this. Coming back. Now I am clicking the same video creation once again. Now sharing your camera and microphone. Yes, this is getting connected. Now I am selecting. Um, shall we select this? I am selecting this. We will see how this is moving. Okay, it is showing only the minimum place. I don't want, I want to show the content in a big size. Okay, I am selecting this one. Okay, the next step is click on this next step. Now we are coming to this place. Right here, uh, we want to add the contents. Right, so you can click this. You can select the uh, information from the Dropbox or Google Drive or OneDrive also. Now we can go to this place directly. We can add the content. The content also will be added directly. Okay. Right. So this is how we can create using images. Okay. All right. So I'll be try one minute. Uh, we are going to use our existing PowerPoint presentation for our video recording, right? So previously we tried this. We inserted the images. Now I select the next one, video conferencing. You just select that and it is showing open Prezi.cast, right? So I am just selecting this, yes. Now uh, here, from here you can go to the live also. Right here, we are getting this pop up menu, the dialog box. From here, you can create a new video. Here, you can see one more option import PowerPoint. You select the second one. So, if you are selecting this, it will be going to our local drive. That PowerPoint presentation is importing. You see, I am closing this, it's a hiding. So, importing the presentation. The so once the presentation imported, all those slides will be placed here. It takes a few seconds, so many. So here also same way you can select any template. See, all the four, the slides are the personal presentation, the PPT are displayed here. If you want to select all, all, otherwise randomly you can. I am telling that import all. All four slides have been imported here. See, one, two, three, four, all in order. And now I have to select one template. I am selecting this. Okay, we will select this one. Okay, so it will be moving like this. If you are okay with this, you can select this. Otherwise, you got to change. You got to. Uh, the PPT downloaded here. Now I have to select this. If you are okay with this, you can go with this. Otherwise, you can change the, the format. Uh, let us try with uh, this. Okay, so this template will be used here and you can see the template you can see the template see this is the template all right so now we are moving to next step you want to click this so template is selected and the content also already selected if you want to add one more or some more in the sense you can click this content and add a frame. Here you can type. You see, we can type that and we can come to the next step. It's the characters are permitted, but we have used only one. Now, if you want to add some more visuals, you can click this. You can see the local drive from there. PT, you can use this. Okay, so that's all. So this is a template selected and the PPT came to this place. Now we have to go to the recording. We are back to the Prezi home screen. From here, I am selecting the third one. It is a import PowerPoint. Now we are going to bring our PowerPoint presentation to Prezi. Let's see, download our PowerPoint presentation and it is getting downloaded. Meanwhile, we can select a template. I am selecting a template, this one. And so this is a template. You can see the template. Okay. 
now uh, still that uh, the ppt is being downloaded after that it is showing the complete slides it has only four slides if you want to pick up any one of the slide you can say and two slides selected otherwise simply you can say import all i want to select all four so all four slides have been uh, inserted here right now i want to go for the presentation before that the bottom you can three icons right this is very important the first one the presenter only will be displayed or the presenter as well as this area is for the ppt content or if you want to show only the ppt content you can make use of the third one so simultaneously at any time you can make use you can click on any one of the icon according to your requirement right if you want to move the slides browse the slides using this arrow you can go to the second one you can come to the next one the previous one like that you can move ahead see i am clicking the next one so this is the second slide you can see this has been selected no this is the first slide now it is second slide i am coming back the first slide now see with the presenter shall we go to the full screen right the full screen now if you want to add some more content you can click this you can add some more content also right now we are going to the record button we just click the record button now it is saying that if you want to record the full hd you have to pay subscription you see click on the upgrade it will be showing to pay some subscription amount if you are paying that you can go for the hd video recording otherwise we cannot you have now press the add plus enjoy grading okay okay because already i paid that so that is why it is not asking but generally without premium paid version you have to pay that okay now i am coming back to that recording place the recording place uh, i am dismissing this if you want to record it you can record otherwise it won't permit you but even though no issues already we are in the full screen mode so this is how it will be recording you see now i am giving some explanation now today we are going to see the topic related to the prezi how the prezi is working what are the advantages how we can you can give some description about the what the content you are going to display okay if you want to show the presentation the screen you can do like this you see what is the prezi what is the prezi design and what are the points the prezi point this is a second point or look at the third point like that you can use the fingers so that the viewers also easily can be engaged right if you want to go to the next screen use the arrow keys or if you want to show the content in the full screen you select this will be coming to the full screen you see right it is coming to the full screen now if you want to go to the next screen you can otherwise if you want to come back to both side by side you can do this now i am moving to the next slide see next slide coming to this place you can show the screen the full screen or if you want to display your face or you want to give some demonstration otherwise some a description explanation you can use like this right i am moving to next screen right you see how engaging we are we are engaging the students like this the share your content with others so how we can use the contents you can do this and the png form or jpg form or pdf forms also possible and live casting also available see what the presentation i'm giving the same we can give the link to our students they can make use of their mobile phone or tab or laptop they can view the same as it is instead of visiting or sharing the uh, the uh, the presentation as a file okay so like this we can record and after recording you can say so this is how it is going and no now i am clicking record once again it is saying upgrade now okay now i don't want so we can come out i am closing this anyway close this so this is how we can make use of this import powerpoint presentation you see the video conferencing also we already seen that you can go to video conferencing say create a new video conferencing here also import the prezi i import from prezi 
see these are already existed presentations you can bring that you can make use of that okay i'm not doing that now you can do you can create some files and you can explore that and then uh, create new video we are creating new video in the same way we are coming to this place you can create it okay so this also the live you can have as a video conferencing so these are the things we can do using the videos okay now we are coming back to the designs in these designs already so many templates are there you can convert your word document ppt pdfs into this place into prezi so that easily we can share with our students okay in the form of um, the pdf otherwise jpg right okay so the social media posts also can be generated infographics also can be and sent from template so we can start from the templates we can start we can select the template the template should be coming with the, some pre inbuilt in the material the pre inbuilt text you can change the text now i am selecting this one the first one i want to start from the template now we will be able to see the many templates so these are the templates the side panel left side you see these are the categories infographics reports slides maps you see youtube thumbnails you can youtube thumbnails also can be generated email headers can be done so posters also what are the the designing you are looking for everything will be there just to select and you can convert you can change the the content easily you can do that for example you see this is a science fair i am just clicking this it is showing this is a content this i want to see in a full screen so that we can have this use this template i am using this template it will be placing for our work now we can go to view full screen so this is how it will be showing okay so here instead of this content you can change it and instead of this content you can change this diagram you want to change you can change it instead of the blue color you want to change it some other color you can here your address also can be given you just click escape we are coming back right you see this diagram has been selected no isn't it if you want to bring it completely you can do this otherwise this place yes it's a toggling property isn't it docking property here the contents here the contents also you want to move you can move you want to change it you can change you want to change the colors here we can change the font size isn't it so it is completely the template coming with some sample text that you can change easily see this contents you want to change this you want to change the background color i am changing to red color some other color like that you select this see now it has been selected you can change the font size you can send you can change some other parameters and you can send it back you can bring it friend in case the overlapping also possible so the finally if you want to change school fest 2020 every mother every morning okay all right now let us have a look at see this is how it is placed right so this can be saved this can be downloaded in the form of png or jpg or pdf in this if you want to add any hyperlink that also possible you can uh, do that see i am coming back here uh, anybody clicking on this school fest we should go to some other place hyperlink you select that come down here is the add link you can add link you can give some uh, for example i am giving www.youtube.com slash kalyan classroom so this is one uh, youtube channel i am giving that hyperlink to this now see if you are moving the 
mouse pointer there you can see the link at the same time index finger now we are not able to see it is a just icon right it's a normal mouse cursor but if you are coming here it has hyperlink now if you are clicking these i am going to the presentation now if you are clicking this it will going to the youtube channel see kalyanclassroom.com isn't it so we can redirect using hyperlinks and you can save this you can download you can share with your friends okay so this is how we can design i am coming back and coming back so this is how we can design the infographics okay mm, and one more thing the next one is okay let us see one more i am closing this let us design some more it's a infographic scene now i am coming to email header email header i am selecting okay i will show you this one use this template so that we can have the full screen view you can see this this is the full screen view this already i used in the designs i used the same design you see this is how see you can go to the full screen like that you can change the contents i have not designed anything this is there as it is i just made appropriate changes see hyperlink also incorporated if you want to change this you can change this so where you want to use this picture you can make use of this like that n number of pictures are there you can use those things right so these are the designs and if you want to select some other also the left side you see these are the various available here the slides also is there if you want to design your own slide you can go to this template area the slides area you can see there uh, these are the random colors i want to pick up only blue color you pick you uh, you give the filter so that the blue color theme will be displayed you can select that otherwise i want violet color you see only violet color background the templates are there or pink color so you can implement you can give some filters also while selecting the template so you may not to design anything you need not to go for any the creativity for designing your slides everything is there only the content you just change the content in appropriate way so that very interactive or engaging very appealing kind of designing you can have clear so i am moving back to our uh, design screen infographic this is the designs and uh, social media post what are the social media post again you see social media post once we are coming back to this only all these things the posters maps charts dashboards anything can be created okay so that is the next one if you are coming to the next one the convert the pdf ppt and doc file so what is that in case see i am showing this it will be asking us to upload the file i am selecting okay i am selecting this how to embed it is a document right so the document is uploaded here this takes few minutes right so document copied here this document you see this is only one page this i want to see in a full screen so this is how it will looks like here hyperlink is there and some other content also is there just to click escape you are coming back this i want to store so there is store if you want to give some name you can give the name and if you want to share this otherwise download as a png jpg pdf is originally taken from the word document but it is converted into high quality png and for the jpg file at the same time pdf file so you can download you see you can download these and you can share with your students or wherever it is required so this is how we can do we can do you see this is the document converted into this one so the designs we can see various the designings at the same time we can bring our documents even ppt 
so that we can easily shareable, we can convert into easily shareable items. Now we are coming to the presentation. In this presentation, uh, how the presentation will be? Before going into the presentation, I would like to show the existing presentation. Just have a look at it. I am taking this one, playing this, extra tabs I am closing. So it is being loaded. It is an introduction, right? You click on the present button so that it is starting its presentation, right? Now, how to browse one screen to another screen? The bottom line you can see this is a browse bar, the status bar, and here the arrow, left arrow, right arrow. The browse pointer is the leftmost place, so that is why the right arrow existed. You just click this. We are coming to the first screen. It is showing who is presenting. So it is being selected. Now you click once again. It is coming to the next screen. The previously we did not notice any content in that disk, in that template, right? In the three, the sub titles also not seen. You see, I'm going back. I'm going back. You see, intro. This also the transparent level so that we can able to show our building, right? The backdrop. And this one is the next one companies, Mr. Shrive the seniors, SIP process and company logo. So this is the way we can show in one screen to the viewers. So viewers also will be very curiously noticing. So what the contents of each and every bullets. Now see, I am using arrow key, first screen. Now it is coming to intro. If you are coming to intro, it is given some information one second and clicking arrow key it is highlighted so that is zooming it is coming to the next subtitle you can talk about this still zooming now how many times zooming that also you can fix if you don't want to zoom only you want to go with this configuration well and good if you want to show in uh, the better full screen move full screen also we can show so this is how it is covered the complete the first disk after completion of the intro it is coming to the next companies. So if you are coming to companies, you can talk about the companies. After that, you can arrow. You can use this arrow also side by side. Okay. Like the second one completed. Now I want to go to the automatic goes to the third one, but I want to go to the third, next one. I want to skip this type one. Okay. You can click this. Now see, these are the contents, the sub levels of uh, this, this. So randomly I can pick one. Click that. The video is there. So video will be displayed. Okay, so this video. Hey, also I am Abhishek from PGDM IB, yes. currently in second year. Uh, I just I uh, came this. back to college after finishing my internship with the uh, Ministry of Commerce. So this button direct can be used to come out. The right side you are able to notice. This. I don't know. You can click this. You can come back. Now see, I am clicking this. The one more video. So we can add videos also or part of our Good morning presentation. everybody. I am Rohita Shripati from PGDM General, batch 2019-20. Okay, so this is how we can share the information, relevant information. So instead of giving demonstration, we can put the, the relevant content, whether it is a video or whether it is an audio file or the pictures, anything you can see. So this is how the contents will be. We can come back to the intro. If anybody asks why this, we can give the explanation. So according to according to the viewer's interest, we can move around between the slides. Okay. So this is how presentation will be looks like. We can change the background, you can change the colors, you can change the fonts, you can place this one to in the top place, you can change. So this is how we can do the presentation. It is the same like the PowerPoint presentation, but we are giving the presentation in a different way. And one more thing, this all the presentations are, um, the present is using cloud, cloud-based software tool. So with the help of the, the link, dynamic link, or even live casting also possible. To see how to create the live casting. I'm coming back, I'm closing this. I'm coming back. You just go to the edit or the three buttons are there, no, three bullets. You just click that. The presentation you can see the pop-up menu 
live press email. You click this. The once you completed your presentation, you can click on that three dots and use that Prezi live. It will be opening at the same time. It avails us to create the link. You see, start live Prezi. Share your live link with your audience. So this is the link. You just copy. You see the live copy to the clipboard. Now you can if you have the word word purpose otherwise uh, uh, the whatsapp parallelly you can share it otherwise if you have the email parallelly you can go to the email just send it to your class students or audience right so start live prezi like that we can share this one along with our uh, the audience right and i am coming back closing this closing this so this is how we can present it now we are going to present before that i will explain the create from the template start from scratch or convert the powerpoint presentation we already converted this once again i will show you you just click this because now in the presentation mode right not the video upload it you click this so that we can pick up our presentation uh, the presentation is there in the other drive i am selecting that this is a presentation i am selecting this so the presentation is uploaded here it is being loaded so randomly you can select any slides from your presentations or complete presentation also you can download okay so the four slides our ppt is being downloaded still right and then we are about to get that okay now see we can insert select and insert all okay uh, right now see if you are clicking all the slides will be displayed otherwise i don't want this i am deleting this this also i am deleting Okay, only two slides will be uh, displayed. Now I want to insert one more. So where I can use, see here, you can see the subtopic. You click the subtopic, one more subtopic will be displayed. So these are the contents of the first one. This one is the next subtopic. For the next subtopic, for the next subtopic, I want to select the third one. Okay, so the third one is selected. Now one more subtopic, the fourth one is selected, okay, the fourth one is selected. Now see, now see, this is the overview, just by clicking the overview, you can see how many slides are there, okay, just you can click this, uh, the present button, the preview is there, you can see the preview, right. So before that, I will explain this. So here, what are the slides we are inserted? The, all the slides will be placed in one topic, topic by topic. The topic you can decide. If you want to fix some topics, you can set the topics like this or title side, title wise, you can do the title wise. If you want to add one more thing in the sense, you can select one. Before that, to which slide you want to add. So these are the slides, no? Okay, so I want to add one more slide here. You select the second one and go to the subtopic. You can select the subtopic. You see, added one more subtopic, one more subtopic is added too. Okay, now I want to see the present. Go to that at the same time. You can change the styles. These are the styles. You can change the styles. We're going to start our presentation using the first one and creating from the template. 
will be showing some templates. I can select template according to my taste. The same way I want to select some pink background. See, already we used this one. I am selecting this one. Okay. All right. You see the template. Right. It is moving like this. Okay. Good. I want to use this. So use this template. You click that. The template will be placed onto your designing panel. Now you are able to see the templates the left side. See how many 1, 2, 3, 4 topics are there and uh, the first one having more than one. See there is no nothing. So only one title is there. If you want to add some topic you can select this you can uh, click it so that one subtitle is added. Now click on the overview, you can have all the slides. Now come to the second one. See, this is the second one. The second one having how many subtopic? One, two, three, four subtopics are there. If you want to add one more, you click that subtopic. One more topic is added. Okay. The flow path also, the path setting also showing. We will see how we can set the flow path. Okay. All right. I am clicking on overview. So all slides will be displayed. First, we will see how it is showing on the full screen. So, to see the full screen, you can click this. Before that, you see three tabs are here. One is style, you click that tile. The shape, layout, otherwise the color palettes or titles, you can change it. And like that, if you want to insert some elements, that's a topic you want to, topic, so one more topic. Or library, you can pick up some already existed thing, the text you can change or image you want to insert image you see these are existing image or if you want to print your own image upload image pictures i am selecting this say okay now that is being placed here it's loading place it where you want to place your information there's a picture okay like this you can use you see and you can decrease or increase if you have any logo you can place designing. Designing is so simple. Next one, you see, there's still so many items. Animation also available. You will see the animation or a PowerPoint. You can bring the PowerPoints. Okay, upload the PowerPoint. You can bring those PowerPoint slides also. Okay, now here you can see the video. You can click the video. You can upload if you have any videos. Now I am selecting this. Uh, I have one sample video. You place it over there. Okay, so like that, the items also can be incorporated. If you are going to share, you can share this through the present or via link, or we can collaborate, means we can send it to your the group or live or present video. Okay, you can create a video or you can share also. Okay, and here if you are coming to this one, you can create this as a video and now we are going to see how it will be looks like. You select this and click on the preview. So it will be like this. And now we are in the, the present screen. I am moving back to the first screen. You can make use of these arrow keys. It is coming to this video. The video will be play. You click the play button. So the video also will be played. So you can stop this. You can stop this. Come back by clicking this arrow. Now still I am moving. You click arrow. We are coming to next title. The next title. Okay. If you want to go to this one, you click this. It will directly come in. You come back. Now I want to display the first one. You can see the first one. Or we added the subtitle. No, we can see the subtitle. Or you want to 
visit one more time the video you click the video the video will be played like that you can you can move from one place to another place you need not go in an order right so this is how it will be displayed if you are selecting this template now click on the back to edit we are back to edit mode now if you want to change this content you select you can type annual report annual report if you want to change the font you select this and go to the font you select any one of the font according to your requirement okay now come to the next one yes so it will be going on like this you click on the overview now you see the bottom side the path setting you just click the path setting this is an interesting one how the slides are moving so first one the second one and it is moving you see the path direction also it displayed it is moving to one to two again coming to the root again moves to the second one like this you can understand this so here also one more if it is a cyclic this is one this one is a cyclic so this one is another angle so this one is another angle so what format you want to browse the slides that you can decide i want to go in a cyclic way okay select that or in the sequence subtopic should be sequence the titles should be in the cyclic so i'm selecting the subtopics now save okay now you can click on the overview it is showing i want to place this the greater details in the first place in the sense you can greater details in the last one you just hold the mouse pointer bring it and drag it here and do okay now it has becomes the second one i want to place one so now it has become the first one it is in the format in the template it is there but when you are, you are giving presentation the first slide will be this one now see if you want to place this video in one of any title this also coming to the the order okay shall we do that i am clicking this i am clicking this summary and go to the subtopic the second one also title you click this and go to insert select the video and upload the video so the video is going to be placed here and placing here in this place right so whenever we are coming to this place i want to zoom this one so that you can go to i want to zoom this so you have to go to the animation what you want to zoom you select that add to zoom area this i want to zoom okay so you can select zoom area the here also the click to this one also i want to add so click zoom area the zoom area can be covered with this one only this area i want to show okay so you can cover this area right now how it should be the standard or zooming out that also you can select now we will test this one okay and closing this i am going to overview now i am going to test it going to i keep in the mouse pointer okay the overview in the first one press it select the over the preview now we are coming to obviously this is outside so it will be displayed or even you can skip that now see it is coming to this one this one this will be display in the zoom mode now the second subtitle inside that that will be getting highlighted now it is going to the next one the next disk has been selected 
Now, so many disks are there, one by one it will be displayed. Okay, the path also can be changed. So, this is the way we can create the presentation. So, placing our text, you can get amazing the presentations. So, that is how I have got this presentation. You see, this one is used in the year 2017 for one presentation for one conference. I use the same one. See, I am giving presentations. I am showing first who is presenting, then we are coming to introduction. The previously we talked about the summer internship program, we are talking about the procurement types, e-procurement. And what is the e-procurement stages, how these things are going on. So, this is a zooming technique. So, once after one, so which one should be highlighted, which one should be placed and what should be the content that you have to decide. Accordingly, you can prepare very nice presentations. Right. So, the newspaper clipping also plays over here. You see, this is the newspaper clipping. Right. That also can be captured using mobile phone. You can place it over there because it is very relevant information. Okay. And uh, this is one JPG file. And this one is a video downloaded from the YouTube. Okay. Right. So, this is one of the presentation I made for one my conference one MDP program. Even the links also we can place. If you are clicking that link, it will be going to that particular link. So this is how we can do that. Now we will see how we can change the background picture. I am coming back to the editing. Now we are in the editing mode. This is the JPG format, JPG file is inserted. I am selecting. This is selected. This one is the picture. Picture selected, right? I can select this one or this one or this one or here. You place the mouse pointer here. Go to the slides. So here is the background. You click these three buttons. So this is applicable only for the paid users okay now i want to go with this get okay, one of the existed one uh, shall we go with and select appropriate colors because already we have the contents if you are selecting some odd colors it won't look nice so that is why you select the nice colors also. I am selecting this one. See, it changed. Slowly it is changing all the titles and subtitles. The finally you will be getting this background onto our the presentation. Right. Now we can go to the present and over with the preview. We can see this. You see the background has been changed. So simple. Now I am coming back. If you change your mind, you simply you can say undo, we are back. So this is how we can select our presentations. And one more thing, we can share our uh, the, um, uh, the videos to our Google Classroom also. I am selecting this one. You just click the third three buttons. You can go to the share button, you click that. So if you are clicking that, where you want to share, to whom you want to share. You see right side, you can see the share to Google Classroom. The same way, you can see here also small icon. Yeah, you can click this, here you can see. You can share it to Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter or even Classroom. You just click this. You just click this and it will be showing what are the classes available and the river uh, the registered email id because i entered some abc id you know so using that abc id how many classes are there those classes will be displayed and selecting the kalyan class so the class action to share with all ask create a question or ask question the which area you want to put your video if you am selecting the create assignment in the sense that will be placed in the create assignments or 
create material in the sense this video going to be placed this selected video going to be placed as the material right i am selecting this as a material and you can say go right so this material is this video has been stored as a in the material part you see materials this is by with the help of the link they can use the link they can visit our website they can visit our presentation if you want to write any titles demo video for your reference okay otherwise you can write anything the description this is you write the description and simply say post so once per clicking post this video will be placed in your google classroom so registered students can view this right so you can see this you just click this it will take us to the it takes us to the to google classroom there we can find our uh, things in the material where is the material just now this is the material just click this you can see this demo video you see the demo video for your reference this is the video you can click this video you can they can see our video right i'm closing this and coming back so this is how we can create i think most of the almost all the the topics covered i hope everyone enjoyed this video and uh, please do use the present